So this is a video on how not to create DXF files specifically for laser cutting in Fusion 360. Hi, my name is Alta Spinar and I'm the owner of Thor Welding Innovations. So recently somebody from the laser cutting firm that I always use to process my work contacted me and he told me there's a problem with my DXF files. When he opens the files there's an additional set of lines and he needs to spend some time to clean this up or to delete these extra lines. So I went back into Fusion and I had a look at my workflow to try and figure out how where this additional set of lines would come from. And it didn't take me long to figure out that the selection um, filter that I use in the project function is actually was the wrong selection filter and it would naturally cause uh, extra additional set of lines to be created. So this video I want to quickly show you uh, the mistake that I've made and how you can actually go about making sure that you create sketches with a single set of lines. <coughs> okay, so I've got Fusion 360 open and I would like to use a file called MAES30S10. And so the MAES is Modular Assembly Extension Square 30, meaning the height 30 centimeters, and S10 series 100. 100 millimeters across, 10 centimeters across. Um, so the Imperial uh, version of this would be the MAES 12, S4, um, meaning 12 inches tall and 4 inches across. For this particular um, exercise, we're just going to use one component and create three different sketches um, using different uh, selection methods. Uh, for each sketch and I'm going to use this uh, side, the indexed side of the extension square. Now before we actually start, so I just want to point out that it's important to make sure that you've got the main title um, in your browser tree selected. Um, once, once we've got that selected and we start by creating our first sketch you can actually see that um, a new folder called Sketches appears. And if we open that folder, you'll see that there's our sketch already generated. So to create this sketch, I'm going to actually do it uh, the way I've usually dealt with this in my workflow. So I would normally hit P for Project uh, to open the Project window. And then you'll see in there, there's two different methods, selection filters. Um, and the one is called specified entities and the other one is called bodies. Now usually I would select bodies and then if uh, bodies are selected you can see once I hover over the um, face of the component that all the uh, features and the lines is highlighted in red. Now, if I click on the face there it highlights in blue and I hit OK you can see that all the sketch features is created in this purple line. So what I'm going to do at this point is close the sketch and I'm just going to rename the sketch. Now to always identify my DXF files, I would always start the file name with DXF and in this particular case we'll call it body select because we use the body select uh, filter. And let's switch the sketch off there and now just go through exactly the same process. Highlight the face, create a sketch. I'm going to hit P for project again and this time we're going to use the specified entities selection filter. So now what you'll notice is that if I uh, hover over a particular feature, a line or a point, that it gets highlighted and I can select only that one line. But let's switch that off first. Um, when I hover over the face, again, all the lines can be highlighted exactly the same way as when we use the body selection filter. So again, let's click on it, change its color, and hit OK. And again, a sketch with all the features is uh, generated, highlighted in the purple. 
let's finish the sketch and again let's change the file name to DXF in this particular case specified select fantastic okay so that's our second sketch let's switch it off and we're going to create one more sketch so again highlight the face create the sketch and this time instead of using uh, any selection method or highlighting selecting any features or um, parts of the of the particular um, uh, component I'm just going to hit finish sketch but you see I've got my third sketch there created and this one we're going to call DXF no select great so the next step would be to create the DXF files and for those that already know you would right click on the file name or the sketch file name and you'll see in the window there that you've got the save as DXF uh, function so let's hit that and what I'm going to do is to save it on the desktop in a new folder we will call DXF test and let's open that and then we're going to use exactly the same file name body select and save okay so now we're going to just um, create two more DXF files and this time I'm going to say specified select and the last one is going to be no select right so there we've got our DXF test folder and the three DXF files created inside that now normally these would be the files that you would send off to the laser cutting firm um, but before we do that we want to first check and see that these files are okay so let's get into fusion again I'm going to reopen the DXF files in fusion and um, open from my computer start with the body select open and you'll see it opens in a new tab and you can clearly see all our sketch features clearly indicated in the DXF file and so let's open up the other two at the same time as well open from computer and this time specified entities file and there we go and the last one open from computer no select open okay so there we've got our three tabs each clearly uh, indicated with the file name so we can see which one we're dealing with and as you can see they look almost exactly the same but when I hit body select you can actually see there's a slight tone or thickness difference in the lines which already indicates that between the body select filter and the specified entity select filter there is something different so how we're going to check this is I'm going to go into the edit sketch function and then what I'm going to do is, is just select the trim function in under modify and if I hover over the a particular feature you can see the feature gets highlighted and if I click it should trim or delete the line but as you can see there's still a line now if I do it again the line is gone and let's do it on another uh, feature again I click nothing or the line is still there what you can see though is, is there is a slight tone difference again between the lines of the adjacent features so let's hit the line again and it's deleted so that clearly indicates to us that we've got a double set of lines 
particularly when we use the body selection filter to create the DXF file with. So let's quickly have a look at the um, file that we created using the specified entities uh, selection filter. And again, we're going to um, edit the sketch under modify. I'll use the trim function and hover over a feature, click once, and the line is gone. So it's quite apparent that by using the different selection filters, you actually create two different type of types of sketches. Now it's very difficult to actually uh, identify the second set of lines in a sketch when you actually look at the DXF file. As you see, I had to actually um, use that trim function in order to be able to see that there was an additional line. Now if we go to the um, DXF file that we created from not selecting anything, you can see it looks exactly the same as the uh, file that we uh, generated using the specified entity selection filter. And again, if we go into um, our um, edit sketch, now we can select the trim function again, and if we hit uh, a line with it, one click, and it's and it's gone, which indicates to us that again, there is only a single set of lines. Now, I cannot guarantee that in all cases, not selecting any lines would be uh, working 100%. I haven't tested this. Generally, what I do is, is I always uh, use the specified entities. Uh, selection fun function to uh, generate the sketches that I'm going to make or generate my DXF files from. And, uh, and these files I can guarantee 100% um, they are um, working perfectly fine. The laser cutting company is happy to deal with these files. So there you've got it. Um, I hope it made sense and I hope you found it uh, useful. And if you liked it, please do the usual. And thanks for watching.